So you can probably really see the product we're going to be talking about today, which is, of course, the Ecoflow River Pro. Now, to be exact, this is the 720 watt hour version that we have right here, which, in my opinion, might be the best option to go for. Now, today we'll be covering if you should get this for yourself or not, especially since we've basically been using this for the past year, and I think it's time to give a conclusion of how well this performed in terms of keeping setups on and just using it for other projects, which is actually very useful. So let's get straight to what you need to know about the EcoFlow River Pro. And sorry first with some of the basic specs, let's get straight to it. Now, of course, on the main side, you can see the light, which is very bright and very useful, especially if you are going to be using this at nighttime. Now, it does in fact have two USB type A ports, one fast charging USB type A port, which is very useful to charge your phones at a quicker pace. Then you also, for a lot of users that do have a more of a newer device, you do have a USB type C port, which outputs 100 watts, which is more than enough in terms of charging your laptop or even your device. Now, of course, you also see one of the ways you can actually charge this is by using your car, which is via DC ports. Now, going to the other side, this is obviously something that varies on your country. But in South Africa, we do have the South African ports, which are obviously just two. But if you do stay in America or any other countries, it will also be in your ports. Now, of course, you can see a little lip here, which is mostly for if you're going to be getting external battery, which is very useful to double the battery life of this EcoFlow. Now, going to the other side, this is mostly to charge the EcoFlow after you've been using it for your own setup. You also got your main charging port, which is also useful, and it's a lot quicker than other options. Then you, of course, have EcoFlow's very own solar power port, which, of course, EcoFlow has also own solar panels and you can basically connect it to this device. Now that we have everything out of the way, let's get straight to how well this performed in the time I've been using this device. Now, of course, something that's nice about this is that when we got this was basically back when we had low shading in South Africa, which we haven't had in a long time. But it's still useful to have this in terms of when there's power outages or if you're getting out for camping. Now to give an example of how well this performs in terms of keeping my setup powered, keep a note, I have a 4K 32 inch Samsung M7 monitor, which I have reviewed on the channel before, which by the way, uses a lot of power. I also have another monitor, which is a small monitor at 27 inches at 1080p, an Xbox Series S, and even a Mac Mini M1, which obviously I use all that for streaming as well. And I have used this for streaming before. And this manages to keep my setup lit up for about at least six hours or more, depending on how much I use the devices. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how much this thing can actually handle your setup. Of course, this is just a small inverter for your setup, and you can even use this for your fridge. So if you do in fact have a power outage in your area, you can actually use this to keep your appliances powered while the power is getting restored in your area. Now, of course, if you're not gonna be using this as backup power for your home, you can also use this for camping, which I think this thing will do extremely well in terms of camping, because it can power some small appliances, you can use it to power some lights for a nice mood for your camping trip, or you can even use this for your own mobile home, which by the way, you can just connect the solar panels to your roof and then just run it to the EcoFlow to power your mobile home. Now, of course, this device costs about $500, which is not bad. Now, of course, the one I have here is the older version. You do have the newer River Pro, which honestly has more perks to it because it has more safety functions. But so far, over years of use of this, it has never failed me at all. And it just worked really well. Now, of course, at the time recording, you also have DJI, which recently released their own inverters, which also includes the DJI Power 1000 and 500, which if I do get my hands on them, I will review it on the channel. But for now, if you are on a budget, this is going to be a best option to go for, and it does give you enough power to basically stream, game, or even have some entertainment while your power is getting restored, or even just using it for basic uses. But as I mentioned in the comments below, do you think this is going to be a good option to go for for your own setup, or do you recommend any other power solutions out there on the market? But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Be safe as always, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.